Well, hello, and welcome to our CAD tutorial channel. Um, today we're going to work on a bevel gear and make it function. This is going to follow similarly to our uh, spur gear that we did in the last video. Um, the next video that in the series will be uh, a worm gear. This shouldn't take too long. Um, we're going to begin by starting a new assembly file, which I already have done here. And then we're going to come on up to design tab and the spur gear. We're going to switch that off to a bevel gear. It's going to ask us to save our assembly. So we'll go ahead and make a folder, call it bevel gear. And we'll call the assembly our temp assembly to begin with, temp bevel gear. Okay. We'll go ahead and use the defaults, but again, this is very powerful in here. We can make change to the teeth, the gear ratio, and all that. But our main function is to just see how the inventor gear uh, tool works. So we'll go ahead and click OK. It's going to make some part files for us and assembly. And we'll let it come on in. Okay, so there it is. All right, at this point, we'll go ahead and do a save. Save off the assembly, make sure we get an initial save on our files. And we'll begin a new assembly file. And this one will be our real one or where we would be placing these gears in. So we'll go ahead and place these from our right folder. So remember, we have to dive into the Design Accelerator submenu, subfolder, and find our two gear file, part files, and bring them in. Okay, so here they are for us. Now it's just time to constrain them. So let's find our assembly origin planes. Now it'll work. We're going to take that plane and constrain it to the back of the big gear. My predict offset was on, so let's fix that. Okay. Then what we want to do is we have this axis in here. We're going to find an axis. In the assembly, which will be the Z axis. And we'll constrain, constrain the z-axis with uh, the center axis of the larger gear. At this point, our larger gear should have one degree of freedom, which is rotation. All right. For this gear here, we're going to set it up. And we're going to constrain this point to this point on the two gears. And it kind of snuck back there. Okay, we're going to find that gear, and it should have This center axis, we're going to want to place that on the assembly plane through the middle. So on there to this axis. Okay. All right. So that's good. So it's floating back and forth. So not only will it rotate, but it has one translation left. And we'll go ahead and fix that with some 
uh, tangential constraints on the pitch diameters. So we'll take this gear and open it up. And then we'll find in the surfaces pitch diameter. We'll make that visible. We'll come back to our assembly. We'll do the same thing on this gear. We'll open it up. Find its pitch diameter. And make it visible. All right. Now back to the assembly. We'll go ahead and add a tangential constraint between the pitches. Okay, that should stop this guy from moving uh, for the most part. And let's go ahead and add our motion constraint. Rotation, rotation between the two pitches. So as this one turns, that one should turn. It's going the wrong way. So let's take that rotate and edit it. Just flip the solution. There we go. All right. So everything's in good shape. All we need to do is have something that drives us. So we'll take the larger gear. And we'll find an origin plane. That one will work. We'll constrain that with an angle constraint. First solution. We'll add predict offset on. And now we'll find an origin plane in our assembly. That one will work. Let's try that again. Okay. There we go. Okay, we've got an angle in here, 163. That'll be fine. All right, let's clean this up before we let it run. Go back to our other gears and turn their pitches off. And now we'll find that angle constraint and we'll drive it, copy this value. Turn 60 to it. Okay, that's it. Hit the play button, and we have ourselves a bevel gear that's functional. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And if you have any video ideas in any CAD software, please let us know in the comments, and we'll be happy to make a video for you and get it posted.